Hi, my name is Luis Pedraza, professional services engineer here at Planet, and this is our Getting Started with Planet Explorer video tutorial. Planet Explorer is our online tool to search and analyze geospatial imagery, enabling users to see change across the planet over time. You can use Planet Explorer to search through our imagery catalog and either download full resolution images or to stream images and analyze them directly on the browser. Planet Explorer allows you to not only search and view imagery from Planet's catalog, meaning Planescope, SkySat, and RapidEye data, you can also access public imagery such as that from Sentinel-2 and Landsat-8 sensors. Planet's imagery is available on multiple cadences, ranging from daily scenes to weekly, monthly, and quarterly base maps. Let's have a look at some of the features of the Explorer on the browser. To navigate to it, simply open a new browser tab and type planet.com slash explorer, like I have done in here. I am already authenticated, but in case you're not, you will need to use your Planet credentials to do so. This is our landing page, a world map showing the latest available global base map, which is Planet's mosaic product created with the best cloud-free scenes acquired around the globe for a defined time period. In this case, for the complete month of April 2020. All stitched together seamlessly. On the Planet Explorer, you can search for imagery by searching by location, uploading a geo file, drawing an area of interest or AOI on the map, or clicking on the timeline. To search by location, simply type your area of interest or location on the search box, much like you would do on any search engine. As you type, places suggestions will be offered. So simply find your location and click on it. The map will instantly zoom to the chosen location and an area of interest bounding box will appear in the map view. Once you have a bounding box drawn, the result search will appear in a panel on the left-hand side. You can also search for imagery by drawing your AOI on the map or uploading a geometry file. The Planet Explorer accepts shapefiles, GeoJSON, KML, and multiple other geo formats. If you have not yet drawn and AOI, uh, you can view base maps over time by clicking through the timeline. The month of the years are selectable, and when you click on one, the map changes to show imagery for that month. On the far right, we can scroll to the different time series available, and on the far left, you can see the list of base maps you have access to for each time series. If you have selected daily imagery as your time series option, a fixed size AOI will be drawn on the map automatically and a search per results pertaining to that AOI will show up. Of course, we can always narrow down our AOI by using our drawing tools. Now, let's view and filter imagery. Once you have defined your AOI, search results will show up in a panel on the left-hand side. This panel allows you to search for data using filters, date ranges, and choose the type of imagery you're interested in. Search results are organized by date and sorted in descending order by default, that is, most recent first. You can choose your imagery cadence, having individual scenes shown when daily is selected, and base maps for all the other options. There are options to change filter, filter settings to narrow down the result set of images. Here you can select the type of sensor you want images from, both planet-owned and public. You can define area coverage criteria. You can make sure to leave out cloudy images by setting the cloud cover filter. And you can input your required acquisition parameters, filter criteria, and much more. To return to the imagery list, click imagery in the top left. You can also modify the date range of your search, which by default is set to the last three months by using the interactive date picker. You can also add multiple date timeframes to make sure your search is more precise. If you click on Save Search, the filters you have set will be saved for later use, and you can even set a notification for when new images become available. Planet Explorer allows you to analyze imagery directly on your browser by taking measurements, comparing pixels, and applying different indices and visualizations. You can measure distances, areas, and bearings or azimuth using our measuring tools. This might be useful to, for example, measure the length of a bridge, measure the area of the container storage facility on a port, or simply to measure azimuth di directions 
as shown in these examples over the port of Cadiz in Spain. If you want to analyze imagery beyond the RGB spectrum, you can make use of the visualization tools. These features, though, currently only work with our surface reflectance maps. So we need to navigate to such a product. We can easily go through the full list of available base maps and choose an analytic mosaic. For this example, we're choosing one for the state of Oregon generated monthly since January 2019. The current visualizations are the common RGB visualization, color infrared, and normalized difference vegetation index, or NDVI, for which you have the option to select different color ramps. You can also compare planet imagery for different days, months, and quarters side by side. Click and drag any imagery from the left panel and drop them in the boxes on the map. You can see for each box, the information in the top center describes the image that has been added to the map view. You can swap top and bottom images as you wish. On the slide mode, a slide bar is visible in the middle of the map view and you can slide right and left to notice changes between the two dates. On the fade mode, the left image will be on top and you can change that by using the opacity slider at the bottom and progressively reveal the differences on image on the right. If you would like to compare multiple images, you can create time lapses using Planet Stories, which you can share with your network or even embed in your app. Finally, Planet Explorer is your go-to app to download imagery. You can order directly from the app or even by sourcing code requests for specific scene IDs if you prefer using APIs. Let's use the search that we just saved over Cadiz in Spain and quickly select a couple of images to download. We can just navigate to the day we want and deselect the images we don't want to download. At the very bottom of the search results panel, you will see two buttons, one for API and one for orders. Both of these buttons represent the images in the above panel that you have selected. On the API button, you will get the current request syntax that you can use to directly order these same images using a command line terminal. The orders button will lead you to a download imagery window for you to prepare your order. In this window, you can select the level of processing you want your image to have. Once an order is placed, it will show up in your orders panel on the right-hand side. You will also be notified by email about the order's progress. And once an order is ready, you can easily click on the download button and get your images delivered to your local workstation. And that is it. We have used the Planner Explorer to search and assess imagery, analyze it using different visualization tools, and place download orders. If you want to explore more, visit our own developer center where you will find more information about Planner Explorer and Planet APIs such as docs, tutorials, and Jupyter Notebooks that will help you get your hands in our data programmatically. I am Luis Peraza. Thanks for watching.